हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वेयर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मेरिडियोनल रे एंड द स्क्यू रे बोथ ऑफ देम आर रियली इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन पर्पसेज एंड वी आर गोइंग टू हैव द इन डेप्थ एनालिसिस ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दैम इन अपकमिंग वीडियोज बट बिफोर दैट वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट आर बोथ ऑफ दैम we should understand what is meridional ray what is skew ray so this is a very short video based upon the introduction of both of them so first of all we are starting with the meridional ray what is meridional ray so whenever i am sending the light in the optical fiber so let's suppose this is my optical fiber and this represents my core okay so here we have the center axis of the core this is called the axis of the core right surrounding to the core we have the cladding that we all know right so now if i am sending any signal or light ray so this is my light ray if i am sending the light signal here inside this optical fiber what can happen the light signal can pass through this axis of the core and then it can get totally internally reflected again it can pass through the axis of the core so it is a straight line path of the incident ray inside the optical fiber inside the core we are having the incident light which is traveling in the straight line path and again and again it is passing the core right so in this case the light ray is crossing the axis of the core every time after the total internal reflection or tir so here the light ray is moving inside the core and we are getting the total internal reflection so we know this angle is phi this angle is also phi right so every time it is crossing the axis of the core right so now one more thing is there that now this light ray is having some plane and the core axis is having some plane so both of them the core axis and the light ray are in the same plane right so this is a very important feature so this is the reason every time it is totally internally reflected it is passing the axis of the core now the third point is that at the central location of the core or the center part of the core here at the center part of the core i will be getting the maximum intensity so i hope you understood this type of light ray right so this is my meridional ray now coming to the skew ray so again we have the optical fiber so here i have the core this is my core again i have the axis of the core and then i have the cladding right so now how the light is traveling in this kind of uh, light ray so here if i send the light inside so light is going to follow some helical structure so you can see light is following a ring or spring type of structure right so here you can see this is my light ray light ray is rotating here right so here it is moving like this you can follow the arrows and this is how the light ray 
is moving so first of all you can see we have the light ray the light ray is never passing the axis of the core okay if i have a spring so if i place the spring over here and the cent in the center i place a wire so the wire is not going to touch any part of the spring yes so now here also we have the light ray light ray is in the form of a spring and the axis of the core is in the uh, form of the wire which i have placed at the center of the spring so this wire is not going to touch the spring so i can say the axis of the core the light ray are never going to intersect so light ray will never pass through the axis of the core So now light ray will never cross the axis of the core as light ray will follow the helical path and the axis of core will never touch the helical path followed by the light ray. So I hope you understood this thing here at the axis of the core we will be having the zero intensity or I am going to write it as zero, zero intensity of light at the axis of the core. So this is obvious because light is not reaching to the axis of the core so we will be having zero intensity of light over there. Right so now you can see I will never have the light intensity and the axis of the core to be in the same plane. Okay so I hope you understood this structure right I hope you know the difference between the meridional ray and the skew ray so now if i see this is the top view and now if i see the side view and now if i see the top view so here right so here we have the axis of the core this is my core and here i will be having the cladding so the axis of the core is passing through this point and the light ray is going to follow a structure like this right so it is not going to pass through this axis of the core it is not going to touch even this axis of the core i hope you understood both of them and i hope you understood the difference between both of them as well if you have any doubt you can put the doubt in the comment and i am going to reply as soon as possible you can give me your feedback as well i am waiting for your feedback if you like the video please push the like button subscribe to the channel and also do share it with your friends thank you so much